Uh, okay. Advisors. So, is Mene King? Advisors one, two, three. Let's say advisor two, might as well as Heyman. And advisor. No, wait. You might well as Heyman. And advisor two. You advisor three. And is and. Well, you've just been his Mane, haven't you? I'm his Mane. You're his Mane. Oh, so you know you multi roles on Tigany. No, wait, his Mane plays a Tigany. I think he doesn't do it for a lot of She just comes on and I'm so stabby. And I'll. And oh, okay, you, you know, you multi play as Garth. <laughs> to be honest, Holly could be Antigone. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. But still, dressed as King Cassander with just a placard that says, I am Antigone. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and then she can be. Okay, she was Tarassi, it's not. Okay, yeah, so she can be still <laughs> dressed as Tarassi. So you run That's on cool. and stab me at the end. Okay, brilliant. Nice. Yeah, that'll do. Ismidi enters the stage, smiling all knowingly at the audience. She bows at King Cassander and then takes centre stage to narrate Antigone. I was there. I know how it happened. She was a reckless and young and naive. And I should know, because being her sister and a princess, it's hard work. But being a king takes so much more. It isn't for everyone. Not one size fits all. Only certain men can handle the power and responsibility. My dear Uncle Creon, a true leader, unlike father and brother and other brother, my mother's side of the family has what it takes to rule Thebes. Which is why I'll only ever admire their work in these stories. So, here we are. Seven against Thebes. Brother Eteocles and brother Polynices fighting for the throne. And now fighting for a place amongst the gods. Uncle Creon, sorry, I mean now King Creon, is left to roll up his sleeves and pick up the pieces that my fat pieces that my family made. And to Creon holding pages and quietly reciting. How brave, smart and honourable and courageous must a man be to step to the throne and save Thebes. Our king, my uncle, Creon. It's mean he stands to downstage right to watch the reciting of Antigone. And to Chorus as advisors talking amongst Creon as he composes his papers whilst Telly, whilst Tell preparing for his speech. Remember your vocal warm up. Speak from the diaphragm. You keep gesturing to the audience. Make them feel hurt. We don't want another mo motherfucking cock up like Edifus. Shoulders back, keep <laughs> the gate open and your energy up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the point about making the deep squares again. And thank your nephews for their service. I apologise on behalf of the mess that they created. And as that has ruled their ruler, you won't make the same blood shedding mistakes. Long, Long live, live King Creon! Creon steps forward modestly, somewhat overwhelmed. He composed himself and his speech, speeches, papers, and speaks centre stage. Good morning, everybody. Well, we did it. We pulled it off, didn't we? The seven against thieves wasn't just for nothing. We broke the deadlock, we ended the gridlock, we smashed the roadblock, and in this glorious, glorious pre-breakfast moment, all before a new dawn rises on a new day and a new state. I want to first all pay tribute to good men and my in-law family who lost their seats through no fault of their own in the battle just gone by. Ateocles was a good ruler and Polynices may have done the job no better than himself. Better than the poor nephews. May have. Guys, come on. But new blood must fulfill what old blood that had spilled. Literally, literally, as I look around, literally before many of you were born, and with this mandate and this majority, we will, at last, be able to do what? Make Thebes great again! You've been paying attention. Because this new state means that making Thebes great again is now the irrefutable, irresistible, unarguable decision of the Theban people. And if that is the case, I am humbled that you have put your trust in me, and that you have put your trust in us. And I, and, and we, will never take your support for granted. And I will make it my mission to work night and day, flat out, to prove you right in honouring me as your king of Thebes, and to earn your support in the future. And I say to you that in this state, your voice has been heard. And about time to... Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and cheering! Thank you all very much. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.
amazing speech, my lord. You read it just as we intend. The recent decree to only bury the former king in Teocles will be honoured. It's only right that the ruling king amongst brothers lies with the gods after battle. Not that the family deserves godly respect. They let far too much blood slip through their fingers. A bad reputation for thieves. Makes thieves great again. again. When you see that Haman comes by later, he didn't attend the speech. His mother and I have been meaning to talk to him. Advisors preparing to leave. Creon's He's usually with state. Antigone. Bring them both if you can. This is the proudest I will ever be. As next of kin with the same blood right, I hold the throne and its power, both city and kingdom. I cherish it and hold it from today as mine by right. There is no certain measure of a man's quality, the depth of his intellect and maturity of his judgment, but the exercise of lawful power in this state. My own opinion is well known. The ruler who fears the consequences of his actions or who is afraid to act openly is beneath contempt. Equally contemptible is the man who puts his interests of his friends or his relations before his country. Running in out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Your Lord. Kneels and struggles to stand. Creon helps him to his feet. Please, there is no need. Brushing guard down. What news do you bring? No news, my lord. Well, if there be news, there be bad news. I apologise sincerely for my being here on such terrible terms, but you must know what has happened. <laughs> Go on. I was on duty. Protecting your nephew's body on the mountain when I noticed that at some point in the night during the shoot, someone must have um, <laughs> snuck Passed me and buried the body of Polynices. Uh, not buried properly, um, <laughs> but the, uh, the dirt was sprinkled religiously, purposely, uh, and carefully. No more! I understand. I don't know, your lord. I'm sorry. If I must do it now, then I understand. Thank you for giving me uh, this service. Stop that. This isn't what I want. <laughs> Helping God up again. I will deal with this properly. Thank you for coming to me so quickly. Return to your post and I will follow up on this. Creon holds his head in his hands as he worries about who could have defied oh. his lord. Advisors. <laughs> <laughs> who would have done this? Advisors. Advisors. Why she did this? Could you hear you have gone haywire? Please, one at a time. Someone has buried Polynices. I have no choice but to charge someone with breaking my law. And on my first day as head of state! You don't know. I don't Advisor know. smirking. What? Priya looks so around confused. Wait, you... Oh. Wait. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you don't, you don't know, know who did it! it. <laughs> smirk, smirk. <gasps> I'm very sorry to inform you, my lord, but your niece... Antigone! No! Horrified. Yes, my lord, your niece has defied you. She stuck her heels in again. Poor, selfish, young, naive Antigone. She wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would, and she did. Silence. I thought she was with you. She left early this morning. During my speech. She banned <laughs> it! <laughs> what am I to do? She's family. She doesn't know any better. She's so young. The only thing to do is to punish her by law. It is a part of your decree. She did this on purpose. She wouldn't. She is corrupt like her father. And her brothers. It runs in the family. I must cut her off. Cut off the bloodline. Stop! I need to think. One at a time. Uh, she Advisor, is not speaking. I <laughs> Running in out of breath. <laughs> Again. Everyone watches the guard trying to catch his breath. It's better be an emergency. My lord, I came as quick as I could. Spit it out! Antigone! She's dead! <laughs> what are you on about? She killed herself in the name of Zeus. She's taken her own life. This doesn't make any sense. Silence. <laughs> Why would she do that? So, so you, you wouldn't have, have the pleasure of doing it yourself. But I wouldn't! You would have loved to see the blood spilling in my mouth. I didn't want this. I wanted thieves to be great. I never wanted people to die, family to die. You 
to read it? No, what? This isn't right. This wasn't meant to happen. Why has she done this? Aren't you king? Freon hesitates. Yes. You don't seem sure. You decreed to kill whoever buried the body of Polymer. You decreed it. But I didn't kill her. I only decreed it. I would have sorted this out if only I could have sworn. You killed kill her. her! I am the king! You don't know what you're saying. She defied your law. And took the pleasure of killing her away from you. You, you aren't, aren't in control. control. I Stage. Antigone. Antigone runs on stage, covered in blood and dirt, running at Creon with a knife, ah, stabbing him! There is an army of And that's the Kingdom Sander! All hail Kingdom Sander!